it's uh, I mean it's always tough to lose a basketball game, um, but we lost a really good team. You know, they, I thought that they were outstanding, and I thought, they, I thought that Temple showed a lot of poise, and you know we we had a chance there. We got up on them early. I thought they showed their maturity, you know, and especially from their, their their guard play. Their guard play was was really really solid, and and uh, we knew how good of a passing team they were uh, coming into the game, and they they certainly. Uh, they certainly didn't show anything less than that uh, tonight. I thought that their guards were really a huge difference in the game. The way that they kind of, the way that they kind of, just kept them in there for a while, and then and then at the uh, and then when it, during their key stretches, their guards were really uh, outstanding. When you combine that with giving up 19 offensive rebounds, I mean the numbers really don't lie. Uh, we gave up 19 offensive rebounds. And um, we had nine ourselves, so there was a there's a ten, a ten rebound differential when it comes to offensive rebounds there, and uh, you know they got off 76 shots, we got off 60. So by giving up all those offensive rebounds, we weren't we just gave them too many more possessions uh, by giving up 19 offensive rebounds than than what we wanted to, and um, when you combine that with a couple of defensive mistakes we made at critical times. You know, it, 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 it just kind of became a little bit too much. I thought another big thing coming into the game. I'm, I'm really impressed by this team. I said, I said before the ball game, I don't know if I've ever seen a team uh, that passes the ball as well as Temple does, and they did it again tonight. Uh, 15 assists to only six turnovers. They, they made 31 shots. They had 15 assists to 31, uh, to 31 shots, so basically half of, their, half of their baskets came off of the pass. You know, I, I just thought that uh, that we lost to an outstanding basketball team. When you look at some of the players, kind of talk about this. You, you just look at this in the, in the national anthem. Players lined up. Temple looks different. I mean, even more so than BCU, more so than maybe anybody since San Diego State that's come in here and, I mean, three years ago. I mean, that, that's those are those are grown men and their shoulders and everything. You can kind of tell. You know, yeah, they're impressive. You know, they're they're an impressive team. Uh, I, I thought that I thought we battled. You know, I thought we really battled. And there's going to be a lot of things that I'm sure towards the end of the interview we can talk about about our future. Uh, but I thought that our kids really battled. But uh, you know, uh, I mean, they had some huge bodies in there and some length. And and our big guys had a ton. I mean, you can look and you could blame offensive rebounding on our big guys, but our big guys you know, had their hands full just trying to do everything they could to keep their big guys away from the basket and rebounding the ball. Uh, the problem was is that the, if they weren't pulling down, I'm talking about Temple, if Temple was not pulling down a clean offensive rebound, their big guys were keeping it alive. And if they kept it alive, their guards were coming in and cleaning it up. And, and our guards were not rebounding down. We were not getting in there and getting our nose bloodied. Uh, and we've got to chase down the basketball. I thought we really chased down the ball in the VCU game. I thought our guards did a great job of rebounding. Martell and David Cool, uh, Mikey, I thought our guards did a great job of rebounding down in that game. And in the games that we that have really created a pattern here where we're giving up all these offensive rebounds, I don't think we're doing as good a job of rebounding at the guard spot as we, as we, uh, as we need to be doing. And we've tried every imaginable uh, uh, rebounding drill you could think of. It's not like, I mean, we literally came out here one day after the Loyola game and all we did, we put a, literally, we put a lid on the basket and we scrimmaged. So every kid knew that every shot was going to be missed, you know, and it was just rebounding. It was just rebounding for an hour straight. We scrimmaged with nothing but a lid on the basket. So every shot was missed. And, you know, we're doing everything we can to correct it, but, but in terms of going and getting the ball, uh, that's got to be something that we we get into our mentality uh, here. That's just not quite always there yet. It's there at times, but it's just not quite always there yet. Physically, I mean, almost, the odds were stacked against you on the offensive glass today. I mean, that was, I mean, guy like Lavoy Allen. Was, I mean, that that makes it tough, regardless of how, of how aggressive you are. Yeah, it does. You know, but you can't throw up your arms and say, okay, well, they're better than us. You know, you got to find a way to beat a good team. And, um, you know, we were doing okay with it uh, there for a while. The only thing that kept them in the game, uh, even in the front, we had a chance to go into halftime with uh, probably a 12, 13, 14 point lead maybe. Uh, if we, the only thing keeping them in the game, I think they had 14 offensive rebounds in the first half. And uh, if we had pulled down some clean rebounds, 
uh, we had a chance to get a run. Our fast break was working. Uh, you know, in the, in the first half, and, and uh, you know, we still as it is, we put up 70 points on a team that hasn't been allowing anything close to that uh, so far. 46 against, uh, you know, Georgetown only put up 46. Ball State, I think, had 36, something like that. Um, you know, we, we were able to we were able to score. We we, uh, but but that rebounding part of things is there. And yes, I mean, we're going to play teams that physically are better than us. And, and uh, we still have to find a way to win a basketball game. Maybe. And I thought we could have done it. I thought we, we could have done it. Uh, there's that part of things, and then there's some late game situations that really hurt us. David likes these type of games, you can tell right away. You know, yeah. like a, a marquee name like a Temple, and he comes out and really sets a tone early and lets the other team know this is going to be a ball game. This, I mean, this, is, this is kind of David cool. Kind of cool. Yeah, when you, see, when you see, again, there are their guards maturity uh, uh, you know and Guzman and Fernandez and, and guys that have been in arenas you, you know where there's 13 14 17,000 people uh, and they've had to face that th then you, they don't get rattled well David doesn't get rattled either uh, you know no matter who the opponent is uh, it's not something that he gets rattled with and he uh, you know we showed he was a senior and he showed that he is he showed that he is one of the best players really in the region uh, right here. I mean, he goes out and drops 30 on Temple. That's, uh, that's an impressive, impressive thing for him to do. And, um, you know, they made some adjustments onto him too, which opened up some other things for us. But we just couldn't get some key stops there when we had a chance to do it. And, and uh, you know, that it really ended up being the game because their guards just sort of took it over there in the last five minutes. And that is veteran guards have been allowed. I mean, they never looked, even when they were down nine. They never looked panicked. No. They never. They just looked like this is what we do. It will be fine in the end. Yeah, that was yeah, exactly. You know, and and that's and David looked the same way. You know, I thought Martel looked similar. Uh, some of our other players that went in didn't look as confident. You know, and that's something that we're working towards. Yeah, it really is, and and I think that we'll be a lot better at it. Uh, these games are good for us. I mean, they really are. And and I, like I said, I hate to I hate to lose a game, but. You know, thank God it's not the football season. You know, where you're, where you say you just don't have that many games left. Uh, we scheduled with this in mind, uh, and and finally the schedule fell in our favor. We we were able to schedule the way we wanted to schedule, in that we we play five ball games. We see where we're at. Uh, we certainly had a chance to finish up at three and two or even four and one, uh, and we've lost our three losses are by two possessions or less. All all three losses. So we have seen glimpses of how good we can be, and we have seen glimpses of just how awful we can be. And, uh, and I think that that's a good thing for us. Now we have eight days to get ready to improve on these areas. Uh, and we've played some very good basketball teams so far. You know, this team had, came into today with the number 12 ranked RPI in the nation uh, to, you know, as of today. So it's, um, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we learn from. And you go back to work, and. I'll tell you, I feel a heck of a lot better. I'll, you know, I'll say this before I get to, you know, any 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 more questions here. I feel a heck of a lot better sitting here after five games this year than I did after last year. You know, we we had not shown uh, this sort of life. Uh, you walk into our locker room after the game, there were some kids that really cared, and there were some kids that really were disappointed by losing this game. And I've seen that so far. Our care level has been much, much, much higher than it was at any point in time last year, especially early in the season. So I'm very optimistic about the rest of the season and, and I feel very, I, I just feel great about this group. I love this group of kids, uh, the way they've been working at it so far. So we'll go back to work. You know, we'll go back to work. We lost to a good basketball team tonight. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, there was some, oh, uh, if, it, if we had the film, I could show you what we were supposed to do in the last five minutes of the game. And I could show you the adjustment we tried to make and, um, and we made it, and we got a couple of stops, and then the next two possessions, uh, we, we ran smack into screens, and they were able to, I mean, uh, 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 Williams, we knew, was a great three-point shooter, and we didn't want to let him shake loose, and, and uh, he took seven threes, he hit four of them. He took seven shots, he hit four of them, you know, and that we didn't want to let him get loose, and he shook loose. And so we went to a different way of playing ball screens, and when we went to that, we played it great 
for like two possessions, and then the next two possessions, our guards ran smack into the screen, and their guards were able to dribble in and shoot little uncontested 12 to 15.